Hey, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, greetings, salutation, good evening, how are you doing? Konnichiwa and kambawa keki desuka minasa. How are you, Mr. Avenger here, or just call me Mr. M.A., or just Money Avenger, but welcome back into another reaction video at your service. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, just resting. Pretty much that's just been slow and relaxed, maybe too relaxing, but it is a moody rain at this moment. So yeah, it's not that fun. But that's just how it goes. But it is the second day of January. So new beginnings is just upon us. And hopefully that there will be something new and something that's going to be, you know, to remember. But mostly, hopefully that, that um, things will be um, a whole new, uh, I guess that's the best way to say that, that uh, a new chapter. Yeah, there we go. But for me, it's just going to be just work work, work, resting, and et cetera, et cetera. That's why I need a vacation so badly, because I need a break. But it's all I can do, right? But anyways, let's get started. So I got a new request from EBF, and yep, this is one of those moments. But uh, if you recall that, that I've done a few of the Katikaris' reactions and knowing the fact that, that all his videos are an hour long, but here is one that um, that it's worth to take a look at this. So the title is called The Unholy World of Jesus Games. Yep. The Lord himself. Jesus! Oh boy. So... Let's get it started and let's make it happen. And the fact that, that um, since it is an hour long of the, on that video, so I am gonna have to break it down. So hopefully that you can understand when it comes to limitations. So, but let's give it a shot and let's begin. And if you are new to this channel and if you like what you see so far, be sure to click that tiny little bell and not only that you will be subscribed, but you'll also receive a notification from yours truly, your friendly neighborhood reactor man, the soul of a Japanese brother man, the king of metal slash J metal reactor is what I do. And it may not be as 100% perfect, but it is the best effort that I could do for every single one of you out there because this is what I love to do. And let's begin, and time to react. Jesus! <laughs> I'm not doing a Christmas video this year, but... Okay. Oh, boy. Hello. I don't mean to pause. I apologize. It's just... He looks good. So that's, that's all I just wanted to point out. So carry on. I'm JC. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas time. The best time of year named after my dad. God Christmas. And you know what that means? Uh, Mariah Carey, what the hell? <laughs> What can be said about Damn. Jesus? We all know the story. 2,000 years ago, a man had a beard. Some people loved it, so they banded together to form Organization 13. And some people didn't, so they killed him and he T-posed. His name backwards is Sausage. And as you can probably imagine, with a fan base as loyal as Jesus's, it was inevitable that at some point there'd be tons of video games based off of his stories from the Holy Bibble. And there are a Holy lot Bible. of them. Trust me, there are a lot of them. There, there yeah. are too many of them. It's, I'm not even kidding. I have too many of them. There are so many Bible games. And why do I have so many of them? That's because Jesus Christ is my... No! <laughs> I even talked about one of them nearly eight years ago on this very channel what called the? the Zoo Race. Even though you probably can't tell, it's a racing game what about Noah's Ark. Fuck? Except in this version of the story, Noah tries to bomb all of the animals with explosive barrels and the losers get left behind in the Great Flood. Move out of the way, sheep! I'm getting on that Ark! Every man for himself! And you, Reuben, you're a rhinoceros! 
The video I did about that single game was 25 minutes long with an 8 minute <coughs> filmed intro. You know, the Dark Ages. And that's extra embarrassing because you don't need that much time to talk about it. You can sum it up entirely with What's this? What's this? I'm sick of all your shit! But the thing is, <laughs> games like that and... The Bible game on PS2 are a bit too nebulous for me today. They're about the whole Bible. And today I wanted to specifically look at games that were only about Jesus. Starring Jesus, controlling Jesus, loving Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and this also means I'm not going to be looking at dance praise, praise champion, or guitar praise because they're all basically the same thing and they all play like. Jesus is the friend of Jesus is my friend. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. <laughs> oh no, it's that guy, the sensitive one that gets really upset about everything. What's his name? Max. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't mind. He's dead. <laughs> He's been gone for 2,000 years. Where have you been? <laughs> oh, can you get your phone and give him a call then? <laughs> can you add him on WhatsApp? <laughs> well, I don't want him there. Can you get him out? I want Jesus heart surgery! The first game we have today is called <laughs> Run Jesus Run! The what? feds are after you! Well, let's see what this is all about then. So yeah, that was fun. As it turns out, Run Jesus Run is also known as the 10 second gospel. And that's because the game does indeed last for 10 seconds. Just like me. And no, I don't mean it lasts that long if you game over. Even if you beat the game, it only lasts 10 seconds. It's very true to his real life. You run left and okay, right while there's no way that could be as, a, as Atari. To, as the I, I, game I, says, do Jesus things. You save the sick, you walk on water, you jump over a hole. My favorite Jesus thing. And if you do enough of those things at the correct time, you beat the game with all of your apostles. <laughs> So what have we learned today, boys and girls? The lesson here is don't bother. You'll end up dead anyway. At least the length of the game is just enough time to make you think if it should be read as run, Jesus, run, or run, <laughs> Jesus, run. <laughs> but we can't just leave him there with his friends Mufasa and plus sign. Especially with his schlong hanging out. They didn't even take the ring off. So you know what Why? we have to do? do we do have to save Jesus. <gasps> Save Jesus! Save Jesus! It's a game on Steam. Huh? Steams us. And the first thing the launch page told me was, This game doesn't look like other things you've played in the past. As such, we don't have much information on whether or not you might be interested in it. I can't wait! How do you like your Jesus? Good or simple? I quite like my Jesus to be on the fastest setting. <laughs> The story here is that Jesus has spent so much time saving you that now he's got stuck and needs you to return the favor. Well, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, then you, then you, then... <laughs> Level one, <laughs> click to get rid of the sand blocks. Okay, simple enough. Um... The fuck? <laughs> Did we just murder a Roman centurion by dropping a bundled collection of human skulls on his head? In that blood. That was metal as shit. And yep, that's basically what you do here. You click on blocks to make a boulder roll on top of Romans and then go, yeah! Whether you use a sack of skeletons, a spiked cannonball, or a rolling obese cow, you just need to click on blocks and hope the physics kill all of the Romans, being extra careful to stop the rock that is on fire heading straight for Jesus. And no, you can't hit Jesse, otherwise he heads off back to his dad's house for the weekend. My favourite thing in the game, though, are the explosives. God, they're so violent. They just yeah. everything right into the face of everyone, even Jesus. I haven't had this much fun since the last time I sang a... Him, but sadly oh, though, I'm not only just so I got to the only just with Johnny and stopped. Kill Jesus. Uh okay. You know something about those Romans? They'll gladly die for their Caesar. What? Yeah, I think I'm done. Sorry everybody. I know I came back from heaven to check on all of you, but you all seem to be doing perfectly fine without me, so I'm gonna go. See you later. Bye! Did you know that? 
there is a fighting game on Steam oh, where you get to yeah. play as Jesus Christ. It's also I'm sorry, on I think PlayStation I just proved Store. Myself. Hello. This <laughs> is Fight of Gods, and even though the game isn't explicitly about Jesus, who cares? You get to play as him beating the shit out of Moses. Mm, what more do I think you I recall need? Fresh off the it. cross and ready to pound down. So what are the pros and cons of this game? Well, the pros are, uh, it's a fighter, you can play as Jesus, you get to beat up Moses, and the cons are... There are no cons! Just look at how he arrives into the arena. I'm back for the people. Jesus doesn't need to try and get out of his prison. He takes the prison with him and kills you with it! And don't worry, if fighting Moses is a little bit too racy for you, then you can always beat up Father Christmas. Aha! Take that, you bearded nonce! This is for all the years you didn't get me the Hot Wheels garage set! In fact, you wouldn't even exist without me! Where do you think the name Christmas comes from? I am your daddy and you are my bitch! The only problem with Fight of Gods for me, though, is that... I blow chunks. It's way too hard for me. And I can't tell if it's because the game isn't very good or I just can't play it right. Every special I move I tried it's, happened by complete it's, accident. It's a little bit and of even both. Even when I changed the difficulty and down you, to you very can't play easy, other deities I still or gods. got destroyed. This game nails you harder than me. Seriously though, this is far too hard for me. I just can't keep up with it. What do you think I am? A priest? If you don't stop kicking my ass, then I'm gonna Stigmata all over the floor. I'm so sorry for failing you, Jesus. Can you please forgive me? <laughs> <laughs> right then, on to the next game. Oh, damn! I forgot to bring it with me. Well, I'm not getting it. I'll send a disciple. Oi! Uh huh. Go to my flat. Yes, Jesus. I left a game in my bedroom. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Do you want anything from the shops? Yeah, get me a monster energy. <laughs> but it is a nice church, though. Jesus is an anime. What? Jesus! What am I getting into with this game then? Huh? Oh, okay, boy. okay. And then, uh, yeah. Jesus? What is going on here? Oh, look, it's my favorite biblical figure, Jesus Staff. Wait, so why is this game called Jesus? Who or J -E -S -S. what is Jesus? I'm completely lost. What? Which is because this is a game for the MSX2, a Japanese oh. home computer system from the 80s that was famous for kickstarting Metal Gear, mm -hmm. but is now more famous for having nothing in English. Like, come on, I can't yeah. even make a joke about what's the moment going I saw on. The, I get given the, a load all of the options, text is that all in country. something happen, then these yep. squiggles turn into new squiggles, and then this lady's face goes from relatively normal to banana yellow with the hand of a crab. What am I doing? I don't understand this moon language. Who even is Jesus? Is this Jesus? Is the ship called Jesus? Why is this game called Oh, Jesus! Oh, Lord! Jesus, is Whoa. that you? There's a god somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so apparently there is, in fact, an English fan translation of the Famicom version of this game that you can play on an NES emulator. And oh. at the very least, everything makes a little more sense. Until this thing pops up and kills everyone, at which point I don't know why Jesus' name is all over this game because he very clearly abandoned us. Alright, fine, this yeah. game was a stupid choice, but you can't blame me for looking at it, it was literally called Jesus. I had to give it a look, didn't I? I don't think oh. that that's not a <laughs> Jesus related. Like Jesus. So why don't we check out something that's more obviously about Jesus with his name in the title? Like, I don't know, five loaves and two fishes! <laughs> what the all know the story. One day, a man went to the corner shop to get groceries for 5,000 people, but they only had five loaves of bread and two fish. Oh no! Luckily though, Jesus was there, and he turned that small shopping bag into a feast. Only one time though. Sorry, Ethiopia. You know what? With stories like this, people eating nothing but bread and fish, kids nowadays don't realize how lucky they have it. They've got all the food in the world and they still complain it isn't good enough. Hey, I want my pudding. No, you haven't eaten your fingers yet. But mom. Here's another story for you. In order to play this game, I actually had to sign up to a Bible study forum and purchase a yearly subscription to access the download page. You're welcome, zealots. My username is... Goddy has a great body. Now we need to pick a profile picture and... 
There are some fantastic ones. Here are some of my favourites. Yippee! Sunday school! The famous religious figure... R2-D2. My superpower what? is Jesus! On a mug. That's I super... love Sunday school! <laughs> Hell, the one I ended Why? up picking, though, is definitely the best. Friend of the worm. It's so threatening! Who's the worm? Why is he my friend? Where's God? What? Who is the worm? I'm starting to think I donated money to a cult. So now I have pleased the almighty worm. Please don't kill me, worm. I have to fill out the rest of my details. First name, Span. Last name, <laughs> Ish. City, <laughs> Spain. State, Churros. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done. And here uh, we I, I don't want to get involved. Two <laughs> fishes, which should probably just be fish, and the word five is written while the number two should be written as a word like the number five. But I'm not going to be that guy, otherwise I'll be a <laughs> Five loaves, two fishes. Oh Lord, don't you know what my wish is just to be with you and serve you all my life? I was weak, but you gave me strength to see. Oh, okay, it started again. Uh, is that all we're getting? Is that the whole song? But where's my favorite bit? That's because Jesus Christ is my network engineer. <laughs> oh my God. God! Has he heard me calling to him? Is my faith being tested? Oh, joyous day! Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings! Hello, I'm Spod! <laughs> Actually, I'm Spons. <laughs> no! Raid Shadowland! Never heard of it! Where have you been? Am I joining you? It's the sponsor of today's video, and it's a giant role-playing game for your PC or mobile phone with over 600 champions to summon and fight with in the land of tele tel 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 television. <laughs> Downloading Raid Shadow Legends with my QR code or link in the description. I'm not joking when I say that I've been playing Raid ever since the first time I got sponsored by them and I've never thought about deleting it once. It's incredibly addictive and the high production values are my favourite thing about it. Along with my personal favourite champion, I give all my best gear to Crimson Helm, uh, but she isn't as good as... And of course, I must mention that I love the huge bosses. Speaking of, there's no better time to download Raid because of the newly added Hydra boss with six heads. Blight, torment, mischief, wrath, decay, and suffering, which work together to poison you, steal your buffs, weaken your attacks, remove your healing. It's a nightmare. I'm supposed to make this game sound fun, aren't I? Oh, look, it's simple. <laughs> He's in it. You want him? Well, then log in for seven days total before January 28th, and this legendary champion is yours for free if you're old or new to the game. It's really that simple. Simple chase. And don't forget, it's a very special time of year, isn't it? Make Christmas spectacular. And tell them they have B.O. Golly gee, thanks, Grandma. And my present to you is my download link. And my QR code for Grampy. Which will get you the epic hero Tayrel, 200,000 silver, an XP boost, an energy refill, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion the second you begin the game. All of which will be hiding in your inbox within the game right here. Plus, you don't even need to worry about selling your auntie's present of socks to buy something better because Raid is totally free. Thanks again for the sponsor and... Bye. Let's start this thing up. Oh, hello, young man. Nice boat you have here. Oh, yeah, you've also got very nice hips. Well, yep. Hello. Oh, I'm okay. Here. Wait, what's going on? Why can't I look up? Why am I stuck staring at his lump? His eyes are up there. Well, it looks like you're steering us in the right direction. What are you talking about? I just got here. Wait, where did I come from? Where am I? Who is moving this boat? In fact, scratch that. Why isn't this boat moving? We're going slower than Mary Magdalene's libido. And bloody pissing hell, man. These controls are so broken. All it takes is the slightest feathery tap of the keyboard and you go ape shit flying off in every direction imaginable. Oh, I know we've off. only just started playing this deeply spiritual journey. But I think I'm already feeling the presence of Jesus. Oh wait, no, it's vomit. The boatman tells us we need to head to the town nearby and convince my uncle to come with us to see me. So off we go. And no, we can't go any faster because going to see the son of God is not that exciting. Even if he did get dressed up for the occasion. Hey, cool hat! Thanks, it hurts! We then find my <laughs> uncle busy working in a well with his lovely collection of JPEGs. And he's not happy about us going off to see the G's, so now it's time to argue with him. I know it's a long boat ride here to Bethsaida. So why do you want to go now back to the shore and listen to this Jesus teacher all day? And if you think for a second that these dialogue choices affect anything, you're a complete wrong man. Because in every conversation, only one of these choices is the correct one to get the game moving on. And if you pick the wrong response, guess what happens? The Messiah? Here? <laughs> well, now I've heard everything. 
You know it's a long boat Oh, ride, for the love of my dad. What? You know what, though? He does bring up a very good point. Do you expect me to drop everything to go listen to a preacher from Nazareth? We all need bread. We do need to, you know, survive. So work is important, and I will stay to help you out. I mean, we'll get it done much faster if we work together, and then we can find Jesus quicker. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. So why are you telling me not to go then? <laughs> now, now, what the game wants me to do is tell him that the real-life food and water we need to keep us alive isn't as important as Jesus' morning breath. And you know what? That convinces him! Don't worry, kids. I'll get you some food. In the beginning... At this point, Uncle Fester tells us to find some bread and fish in a nearby house for the trip. Only problem is, nothing here can be clicked on, or jumped on, or climbed on, or prayed on. We're stuck in perpetual misery that not even God could save us from. And I was stuck here for 15 minutes before deciding to give up and make my way over to some more buildings over there. <laughs> and I walked the whole way. And it took me... <laughs> Two entire minutes of nothing. Are you and serious? after all of that, I got there and I can't even get in. Sorry, Jesus, I won't be there to hear your lecture. I guess I'll just have to go to hell. Thank you for playing our game and learning this important Bible story. We hope this story helps you believe Jesus is the Messiah sent That's by God to save the world. Well, actually, all I learned is that if you want to stop a man from finding Jesus, put a two foot wall in the way. May you feel fed by his presence and ready to serve him. All. Your. Life. Yep, this is a cult. La, 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 la. I really need to do a messy <laughs> brow. Quick everyone, we have to go to the toilet! <laughs> what? What are you- <laughs> Wait, what the hell is- oh, Was that a keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> this here is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum, possibly the UK's biggest oh, home Spectrum. computer from the 80s. You know, back in the days when games for computers came on... Cassettes. Cassette tapes. <laughs> that one's Horace Goes Skiing. What? Do half of you even know what a cassette tape is? Bands used to record albums on these things. Yeah. Throughout Let's the 70s. 80s. God, it makes me feel like I'm old. Mm. And that was, um, a sp Why? Now, the Spectrum may have been revolutionary for the time, but going back to it today isn't that fun at all. Take the game Manic Miner, for instance. You boot it up, and then after 3 minutes and 13 seconds of loading, it takes you to this. <laughs> and believe it or not, there is a Jesus game on the spectrum, Galilee, which is a place Jesus went to one time. And in that story, um, I think he wanted to go and see a concert and he didn't have a ticket, so he tried to sneak in without anyone noticing, like... <laughs> okay, well, the game isn't about Jesus. And Jesus isn't in it. But it does count, no. because uh, this is a location... And Jesus can be anything, even a place. So we boot up the game, and this happens. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what this is what the eighties looked like back then when all the loading process. Oh. You thought it loaded? <laughs> no! Because it takes a total of four minutes and fifty seconds to load, after which we finally get to a title screen. Time to play Galilee, 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 Galilee Figaro, Magnifico oh 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 <laughs> Oh, it took five minutes to load text what? <laughs> Galilee is a text adventure yeah no graphics no music just text the real adventure is in your head and that's the best oh, thing about boy. playing a video game you wake up with a throbbing 
There is something very important to do, but you cannot remember what it is. What do you want to do now? Well, let's press enter and see. You are in the graveyard. In the distance, a field is ready for harvest. Obvious directions are north or west. Okay then, uh, go north. You are in the graveyard. You hear groaning and screaming. What do you do now? Join in! I don't understand! <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh, hang on. A maniac jumps on you and hits you. Holy shit, but we only just started! What is this, John Wick? What do I do now? Um... Uh, <laughs> attack maniac. I don't understand! Okay, um... Jump on him? I don't understand! Call him a cut. <laughs> right then, I don't know what to do. He's been jumping on us like a trampoline for at least a minute and I can't get him off. So what if I uh, hit him back? You hurt your hand. Yeah. The maniac says, I'll kill you again. Hang on, what? When did he kill me the first time? What do I do now? I, I don't know. Uh, ask him why? I do not see why here. I'll kill you again. All right, fine. Kill him. You do not have a weapon. <laughs> the maniac leaves. Boy, this game's going a million miles an hour! Well, hey, I'm not done with him yet. Chase maniac. I don't understand. A maniac jumps on you and hits you. God damn it! What kind of a place am I living in where I can't walk three feet without a maniac leaping on top of me? You know what I want to do? Move house. I don't understand. Now he's saying he'll kill us again. What the hell is going on? Uh, I don't know. Steal weapon. I don't understand. Okay, I need to be smarter about this. We have to take another route. What would Jesus do? <laughs> He's not real! Talk to Maniac. The Maniac says, I'll kill you again. again. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. I'm really running out of ideas now. Find weapon. You see the Maniac. Yep, I saw him a while ago. Okay, well, maybe he's just a bit glum. Take Maniac on a date. <laughs> you can't get that! What, is the Maniac out of my league? You know what? Screw it. I'm not giving him the satisfaction. Kill myself. You do not have a weapon. You are in the graveyard. You hear the rattling of chains. Well, that sounds sick. I'm going to record them for my mixtape. I can't follow all that! Well, in that case, I really <laughs> haven't got any more ideas. Give up. You give a denarius. What? God damn. What? You know what? I don't want to go to Galilee anymore. <laughs> Galilee sucks. I think I'm going to have my holiday somewhere else, like Suckley. Or maybe even really push the boat out and go to Licky End. But I haven't decided yet. I need to figure out which is closer once I reach Piddle Bypass. Okay, let's get back on track. Jesus games. Jesus games. Well, they seem to be all over Steam, don't they? So let's go back on Steam and see what we can find next. Like, Jesus Christ RPG. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what you're... laughs> nice. This tastes like fan. Okay, I think that's gonna stop right there. I I I I, I will let it continue, but you know, limitations. Okay, um, interesting, uh, these, uh, games that are somewhat relatable to Jesus or the, the Holy Bible or somewhere of it, but, um, Steam, um, the puzzle where you you instantly kill a Roman soldier that, that uh, a bag of, you know, a boulder full of uh, skeleton heads and there's blood. And um, J-E-S-U-S. -S. I think that's, I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a game that's entirely different. Uh, that has nothing to do with Jesus or... Or the, the or himself or anything. I, this is this is all sci-fi. Sci this is all sci-fi to me, in my opinion. And it's, it looks like a little bit something that's loosely that that's inspired of the Alien, in my opinion. Uh, some of these uh, PC games that is uh, oh why 
they, I, I, I don't think that they did not try to, I think that it's more of a, an educational games, uh, five loaves and two, two fishes. I, I, I love where, it, where Caddy, uh, smushing all these five loaves of bread and just breaking the, of the two fishes. I'm not sure that if that's supposed to be happening. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm trying not to get too involved. And yes, I am Christian. I'm deaf for those who have not aware about that. But this is just ridiculous. And yes, there, and there are some, and there are tons of uh, uh, Bible games that existed that was that that was created by Wisdom Tree. If you have not seen the the AVGN episodes of the Christmas episodes, because. There are tons of them that only uh, on the NES, and there's also um, Super North, uh, uh, Super North Arc 3D. That was uh, it. That actually existed on the Super NES, but it was meant to be as a um, a mockery, or that that was meant to as as a mock-up to Wolfenstein. But yep, if you don't believe me, you can check it out. You, you, I'm pretty sure that they still exist. So that's going to be it for right now, but uh, there will be part two uh, for the next day because there are tons of requests I'm still going to be going to check out with, and not to mention there are some new ones that I'm going to be looking to, but uh, damn, there's definitely going to be some sins of hurt on this one, so there's going to be a lot of um, five, no, maybe... 20 Hail Marys to, to recover from watching this, and damn, damn, damn. That's all I got to say for that. But um, I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you did, let's leave it a likes and also leave a comment down below, and I will catch y'all in the next video. So take care, guys, and be safe. Turn on the stop.